Good morning, everybody. My name's Derek, and welcome to the Tiny Raptor Farm. Good morning everybody. It is 66 degrees this morning. Oh man, it feels so good. Being 90. Uh, luckily it didn't, I think one time this this summer it got over 100 a little over 100 degrees. I think it got 101, but man, it feels good right now. It's 66 degrees. The sun's shining. It's supposed to be a high 84 today. Oh man, it's just amazing right now. I can't. I'm, it makes me want to stay outside all day. I love this weather. Um, we got a few things to do today. I'm gonna get the chicken coops, the big chicken coop, straightened out as far as uh, cleaning up the the chicken run and everything. Um, it's getting pretty. They've scattered a bunch of the compost stuff out of, out of it around and I need to get it straight back out and get it piled back up. And, uh, anyways, let's go do that. Okay guys, um, if you can see all the stuff that is like corn and, well corn, but um, they scattered it around everywhere and then this over here is the compost where the compost pile is but they'll take it from there and move it they get because they chase each other with them. some one of them will pick something up and they'll chase them around with it but um what i'm gonna do is while they're in there i'm gonna start raking up all this other stuff and i'm gonna throw it on top of them it ain't gonna hurt them plus it's kind of fun to watch but um and i'm gonna take my shove and I'm going to take my shovel and I'm going to scoop all that back up into a pile and then I'm probably going to take some of this old compost right in this one and I'm going to throw it over here that way we make the pile a little bit bigger and it can, the one side is already done and the other side is still fermenting or whatever so I'm, I might leave it there for now um, but I'm going to take this other pile and get as much as I can out of it and throw it back over here. So let's do that. Okay, <sighs> kind of winded, I'm out of shape. See the difference? It's a pretty good sized pile, so I get a different angle at it. That's just what from was down there, around the edges. Back here in the corner, the when it rains a lot, it'll wash the dirt out right there and it'll go underneath the, the bottom baseboard of the chicken run and it'll push a bunch of stuff out but uh that was last year i think i fixed that so now there's been a big divot right there so there's a lot of compost that was in. okay i was walking up here to get the wheelbarrow i just want to show y'all our grapefruit how absolutely massive that thing is i mean this camera doesn't do it justice but this thing is huge 
We only got one on there, so. <sighs> oh well, at least we got a grapefruit this year. Okay, I'm a dumb dumb. I was walking over here with my camera to get it set up so I could do this, and I accidentally hit record. So when I set my camera up, I walked over or got ready to do it. I walked over to go hit the record button and I hit the stop button. So I didn't record any of that. Sorry, but I will make sure that I record me putting it in the thing. Okay, in the 15 minutes it took me to go over there, or to go get my wheelbarrow, go over there, scoop that out and put that in there and bring it over here. They'd already got the pile halfway down. So now it don't look like I did anything, but um, what I'm fixing to do has been a little bit before I clean the chicken coop out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my shovel and I'm gonna scrape the top layer off of the floor we got sand in there. We don't use like wood chips or straw. No, we use uh, it's like a sandbox sand. Is what we use. Is a play sand. That's what it is. And um, we use that to go in there because that's the to us that's the best method. I mean they don't eat it and it's soft on soft to them, and they won't they won't mistake it for food. I guess because sometimes chickens are dumb and they'll think something's food and it's not and they'll eat it anyway. Um, so, but it's too dark in there for me to record, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and then come back to you. Okay, so let's come over here and talk about this compost for a minute. Put my tripod down. Okay, that's all the flowers that we had in the garden for the bees and everything for the pollinators and uh and it worked good um for a while but about midsummer it started there's a lot of worms on them a lot of worm and uh, all them hornworms and stuff that were in my garden pff, believe that's where they started from so um i mean if i'm wrong you can tell me i don't know if that's where they start from or not i don't hardly know anything about them but uh so this coming year or this coming summer we're not going to put flowers in there um we might put them um, probably around the garden not inside the garden we'll probably put them around in different places in the yard but it won't be in the garden this time um i know you can't all can't completely 100 percent prevent worms and stuff to come in um but uh you could try so but um so we're not going to put flowers in there next year we're going to keep the vegetables and we did a lot of things that we wasn't aware of about as far as putting putting certain things within the within the range of a sprinkler or the range of our sprinkler that some of the stuff needs a lot of water and other stuff didn't really need that much water and they all got the same amount of water and some of them died some of them didn't do so well and you know some of them went and germinate or something I don't know but it's it's a whole it was a whole mess of different stuff so I had to replant and you know still didn't know nothing about it and or didn't realize that some things took more water than other ones so um still breathing hard from shoveling but uh so yeah do your research when you go to do your garden do your research and make sure that you find out whether they need 
certain plants need a lot of water or a little bit of water because and if and separate the two because if not then they're gonna die like mine did or they're they're gonna get ruined and they're not gonna be as plentiful or whatever so keep that in mind when you're starting a garden for example um, watermelon cantaloupe honeydew tomatoes all that type of stuff that should be planted separately from let's say corn and uh, cucumbers and stuff like that and okra and all that stuff should be planted separate because um, when after we water like that for two or three days and there's a a melons growing or a melons pretty big or something it'll end up busting because those things soak up water real bad and I don't think they know when to stop or even if they do stop but um, they soak up a lot of water and they will bust so it's just an example and um, our tomatoes didn't do good with the summer crop because of that reason uh, kept watering and watering and watering and you know and most of the time it wasn't really our well half the time I'll say it wasn't our fault because it rained a lot we're I think we're still in hurricane season I'm not sure but it rained a lot and they got a lot of water so they started busting um, so that'd be my advice if you do put them in the same garden put them in the same area or just something put them try to put them on like a water drip system or something instead of a sprinkler because that way you could regulate what gets what or what gets how much you know and you won't have to have you won't have to worry about that problem so we were talking about setting up a water drip system at the beginning of the summer and we never did it so um that's definitely going to be on the agenda for this coming summer Okay guys, um, if some of you don't know how to tell, if some of you are starting off with a garden and you're not 100% sure, you haven't really done research that much on cucumbers and stuff, when that starts turning yellow like that, pick it. Because it'll get a strong, strong cucumber smell but sometimes they'll diminish their taste and sometimes the taste will get too strong and it won't taste as good it's it's a weird taste i, I can't really explain it it's it's more or less a overly cucumbery taste and a less cucumber taste all in one it's weird but um uh that one is probably gonna taste like that maybe and it might not but uh, yesterday it wasn't like this but today since it turned I'm gonna go ahead and pick it um, but these things grow super fast just like okra okra grows super fast cucumbers grow super fast you have to check them every single day and also if they start turning really white where all that's yellow if, it, if all that yellow was white, you would pick it. That means that you let it go too long. Um, so I don't have another one to show you. But uh, anyways, just a little bit tidbit of information. Well, guys, I'm going to end the video. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I'm going to do this so I can try to CGI it on top of my finger. And... Uh, <laughs> Hit the bell notification, all them other buttons you could possibly hit around it, except for the dislike button. Please don't hit that one. But uh, I love you, and I will talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.